in the midst of the church, he opened his mouth. And the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothed him in a robe of glory. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Today's Mass is offered for the soul of Susan Lee. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who raised up the bishop, Saint Athanasius, as an outstanding champion of your son's divinity, mercifully grant that rejoicing in his teaching and his protection, we may never cease to grow in knowledge and love of you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you that through my mouth Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they, the whole assembly, fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen asleep, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written. After this I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. For it's, from its ruins I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord. 
even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord, who accomplishes these things known from of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogue every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. Claim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning and happy feast day of Saint Athanasius.
Saint Athanasius was born in Egypt. And he's one of the most important people in developing the creed. Back at that time, there was a lot of confusion about who Jesus was and <clears throat> whether or not he was fully God and fully man. There were some people that thought he was human but not God, or some people thought he was God but not fully human. They thought he was divided in that sense, either separate from God and not and with us or vice versa. And they thought he was both separated from God and separate from humans. It's a Latin term, tertium quid, means third, something. So third seem quit, the third something. Not God, not human, but maybe something else, some other weird thing. But Saint Athanasius <coughs> wrote diligently explaining very well and very clearly to all the people that they could understand that Jesus Christ was both truly God and truly man at the same time. And really, with Jesus, we are not separated from God. We are connected to him. And that means that we are really connected to God, even in our humanity. St. Athanasius had many people who hated him. He was experiencing exile where he was forced to live in the desert over and over again. People tried to kill him many times. He had an awful time, but he kept going and he was strong. He became bishop and he helped us in developing our creed. And he helped all of us to be united to Jesus even to this day. Something else, hang on. We can clearly see in the gospel today that Jesus is giving us this message of union with God and that he is connected to us as we are in him. And he wants us to have the fullness of joy because God is joy, God is happiness. And so when we are connected with Jesus, then we have that experience of 100% pure joy. We can become fully joyful in him. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention that the dignity and immense value of women be recognized in every culture and for the end of discrimination that they experience in different parts of the world, we pray to the Lord. For Cardinal Sean, our Archbishop, that his leadership of the Archdiocese of Boston 
continues to persevere and succeed through challenging times. We pray to the Lord. For our political leaders, that they heed the calling of God, build a culture of life beginning with natural conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. For our united efforts to support the Catholic appeal, so our parish programs and ministries will be enriched here at St. Jude's as we move forward in faith. We pray to the Lord. For all the soldiers on active duty and the first responders that they persevere in faith this Easter season, we pray to the Lord. For those being held hostage, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, that they be strengthened by the hope of the Lord's resurrection. We pray to the Lord. For world peace, especially conflicts in the Middle East and in Russia, Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. For our beloved who have gone before us, may they find a new home in the mystery of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Today we remember the soul of Susan Lee, for whom this Mass is being celebrated. We pray to the Lord. Father, we thank you for hearing all of the prayers that we offer you. We ask that you answer them according to your will. We ask these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. Our good and good of all his holy church. Look, O oh Lord, we pray upon the offerings we present to you in commemoration of St. Athanasius, and may witnessing to your truth bring salvation to those who profess, as he did, an unblemished faith. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. No one can lay a foundation other than the one that is there, namely, Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, almighty God, that the true divinity of your only begotten Son, which we firmly profess with Saint Athanasius, may, through this sacrament, ever give us life and protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you.
May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.